Okay, here's the next example here. We're going to take a table and we're going to make it into a graph. The way this one works, um, A doesn't have any precedent. I'm going to start at milestone zero. That's the start. And activity A is going to come out of that one. The time for A is three. And here's milestone number one. Now, according to my table, both B and C come out of A. And I'm looking ahead a little bit. Looks that D, like D and E both come out of A, B, which means that A, B, A and B both must be done before you can start D. Same with E, which lends itself to this kind of a picture. This will be milestone number two. B is going to come out of A, and the time for B is four. C also comes out of the milestone that A goes into. The time for C is seven. Both A and B have to be done before D and E can be done, which again lends it to a similar type picture. This is milestone number three. I'll put C, let's see, D here, which is 10 units of time, and E, six units of time, and then the final to milestone number four, which is going to be the end of our project. That would be activity F, which takes eight units of time. So there's my graph. Um, now, in order to find the critical path through this graph, I have to look at all the routes that go through here. There are actually four of them, and I will trace them for you. I'll actually write down the activity. So go to A, to B, to D, to F, and that one, 3, 7, 17, 25 units of time for that route. Another route would be A through B through E, and then through F would be 3, and 4 is 7. Down through E is 6 more is 13, to F would be 21 units of time. Going the other direction down below here, I could go A to C to D and to F. be 3, 7 is 10, 10 is 20, 28, and then the final route possible would be A to C to E to F, 3, 7 is 10, 6 is 16, 8 more is 24. So there you see the four possible routes. This one is the longest, that would be the critical path. Again, the critical path, the longest route through the network is the length of time that it would take to do the job if you did it in the most efficient way possible. So let me write this as an A through C is next, up through D, and then out through F. There's my critical path. Now, all the activities along the critical path have slack time zero. A has slack time zero. C has slack time zero. D has slack time zero. Finally, F has slack time zero. The only two that I have to account for now would be B. Along the critical path from milestone one to milestone two, it takes seven units of time. For B, it takes only four units of time, which means that I have three units of slack time there. And then the other one, E, from milestone two to three along the critical path takes 10 units. It takes six units to complete E, which leaves me with four units of slack time for E. And there you have it. Okay.